Hi! Welcome to Deus Ex Mankind Divided Breach Mode. We're doing Network 1A, all the Darknet files. There's four of them in total on this map. Uh, this one is, well, and the next one, are collecting fragments. Um, you've got to collect ten to get out. Uh, and I think there's some data as well. Anyway, grab those two. You can uh, hack the server block as well if you want, but it's not by any means essential. Uh, turn around when you drop down there, and there's three, or maybe four, three, uh, lined up here, uh, jump across here. For the speed run, you're going to need uh, double jump at least, more like triple jump to be honest. Um, other than that, there's not much you need. Titan Org, maybe. No, not Titan Org, I'm lying. Anyway, one down here, there we are. You can run across this fire, uh, it'll hurt you a little bit, but nothing critical. One snuck behind there. Uh, the data tower is in. Um, there we go. Another one there. The data tower is in here, so hack that server block and there's a fragment in there as well. You can use a block to get over the fiery stuff if you want, but it's by no means essential. Uh, and then dropping down here, there's one there, and I think one at the end there. There we are, all fragments collected. Yay! Along with all the data. So uh, make your way out there, pretty straightforward one. Um, the time challenge is not so straightforward. I've slowed down the very beginning of it, but you basically want to run forward, drop off the ledge, turn around, and then jump over the lip that's underneath you like this. So drop down, turn around, and then use your air jump to nip up and grab that fragment. Then turn to the left as you're facing the wall and carry on around here. Uh, I lost a little bit of time there scrambling up, but it's not the end of the world. Then drop down, grab that one, run across the fire, up, and then around the back of this L shape there. Ignore the ones in the fire here, we don't have time to sack a server wall. Just knock those blocks out of the way, drop down to grab this one, across there to uh, snag that final one, and then up and out. There we go. That's the really tricky bit, is just that first drop. Uh, you might want to practice that a little bit, but you should be able to do it with plenty of time to spare, well, at least a second. <laughs> this second one is, uh, I'm not going to lie, a complete bugger. Uh, for the speed run, you're going to need uh, double jump um, and possibly super mega high jump. So basically, upgrade all your jump tickets. Now, there's two stuck behind here. Most of the time when you jump up that, you'll actually grab on like that, and that loses you time. So I'm going to show you a trick now for the speed run. Jump backwards, uh, and if you double jump, you won't actually grip on, and it'll get you over those blocks much more quickly. You won't lose a second there. Uh, there's a hidden wall there with the server in it, and I think that's the only server on this map. Yeah, it is. There we go. So once you grab that, that's pretty much all data extracted. Now you can jump onto that, and then uh, there's lots of server blocks to hack here to save your fall. We're not actually going to have time to do those in the speed run, but for the time being, we can take our time, and it means you can get all data before you've upgraded your jump the whole way. Um, you can just hack both server blocks and make your way over. There's one there, you want to hack that. Um, and there we go. Drop down, get it, and then jump back up. Um, there we are, another fragment there, and then one here. This is a very tricky one, and we're actually going to ignore it, I think, in the speed run. Um, it's just two out of the way. And then you can jump up here and crouch on your landing, and under there for number 10. Uh, we've already got that one. And then up here, there's a whole bunch in fire. Um, now, I don't know if the damage reduction would help here, but certainly if you want to put a few points into health, um, it's going to let you run over this fire with slightly less care. Uh, for the speed run, I end up jumping like an absolute lunatic um, because I haven't at this point upgraded any health. But it's definitely worth a consideration if you're struggling with it. But more importantly, obviously, is the health. But just jump into those two. Double jump again will help you there to take less damage. Um, and then you want to do a running jump across here like this and use all three hops if you can to get all the way up the other side in one go and you'll see I do that in the speed run. But that is all the data uh, for number two. Slightly longer one, 145. I took a bit of time and made some silly spills and spent time hacking server blocks. The speed run, however, jump backwards immediately starting and then backwards over there to get the first two. Then jump around to the left onto this drop down here and then boot yourself back up and then immediately drop down to the ones under here drop down boop up to there and again here you're gonna to want to double jump out of this otherwise it's really easy to miss that landing that one there and then jump up to the duck there and then flip it around and up here we're gonna just run across the fire jumping all the way because we don't really have time to do anything else there's two in there don't miss those I've done that so many times and then one over to the right so I think four or five in there in total one there and then a mad triple jump here, which you try and you don't want to hit the ladder. If you climb up the ladder, you're going to lose too much time. 
Um, so that's really where you can make up all your time there. But you can see 43 seconds the limit done in 40.69. Um, so if you can nail that triple jump, and I just recommend practicing it a lot, you'll be absolutely fine. Um, that gives you all the breathing space you need. Number three. Uh, what have we got? Ten terabytes, I think six towers. Yeah, there's three at the bottom. There's one directly underneath us. They're all two terabytes of data each. There's one there, which is a big one, one over there, and then one just to the right here. Now there's a trick we're going to use for getting ones that are on blue without having to use blocks. Um, obviously, if you've got the EMP resist skill, that's going to be hugely helpful. And for that, you're going to want either the Titan Org or the Damage Resistance. Um, Titan Org's cheaper, but obviously burns... Uh, um, what am I talking about? Energy. And slows you down. Whereas the Shielded one uses requires more memory, but is just passive. And therefore, better. Anyway, you can jump up here. You can actually jump and hack that one while you're in the air, but it mm, doesn't really matter. Jump up here. Hack this one. Uh, there's one around to the right here, and this is where we'll use the trick for the blue. So you want to jump up here, look down, and then as you walk backwards, very, very slowly, just tap it, mash the uh, interact button, and you'll interact with it on the way down. It'll pause while you're still flashing blue, but as soon as the blue uh, EMP stuff's worn off, the data download will resume. And we're going to do the same thing here as well. And this is going to be useful for the speed run, which is the only reason I'm doing it here. But just drop off and be mashing the interact button as you fall. Now make sure you wait for all the data to download before you make a dash for the exit. You can shoot the uh, tower if you want, the turret, um, or just rush past it. There you go. But do make sure you wait. If you don't wait till all the data is downloaded, you won't get the all data downloaded. Now, for the 14 second I found I needed Icarus Dash. It might be possible with jumps, but not with my skill. Uh, so I did Icarus Dash and Precise Dash. You'll also need Triple Jump, um, and you will need some way to resist the MP damage. Um, either, here we go, the Titan Org, uh, the one down to the left. You can see that's only 100 uh, memory slots in total. Or this one, which requires 8 Praxis to get three and then five which is a lot and uses 400 memory but on with the speed challenge I'm going to show this twice because it's quite tricky you want to essentially here you'll see I've slowed it down this time rush for your Icarus dash aim halfway down the pole on the right like that and then let go as soon as it flashes up and you'll climb up there then drop down activate that data that you just went over activate your EMP uh, to ignore the electricity to grab that other one and then triple jump back into the triangle um, you might want to watch that again. It's pretty insane. I might actually play it for you again at half speed. So yeah, here it is again. Um, Icarus dash halfway down the pole on the right. Let go as soon as it's fired up. Climb over there. You can actually jump to save yourself a second or two there. Just mash the interact button as you fall off there and that will start that download. Activate your EMP as you run across that electricity. Get that. Flip your uh, anti-EMP off and then it's a triple jump here. One jump and then two jumps and on your third jump you want to be pulling to the right so you land directly on the triangle. Um, there's not a lot of time to save in there. Yeah, um, you, I couldn't work out how to triple jump over at the beginning with any reasonable amount of time um, so that's where we did it. Anyway number four is a prime kill. Uh, it's slightly off the beaten track so from three uh, you're going to have to free roam down to number four and obviously you've got to explore all the dark net. You've got to solve all of these before the next one opens. Let's get the data first. Uh, there's one here. I haven't done the speed run on this because I don't have a pistol that's in very good shape. This guy's super weak to pistols but uh, yeah I don't have anything. Um, anyway, uh, the first date is there. The second one, I'm just going to kill him really quickly with my battle rifle. Um, but I will come back and do these prime time challenges when I've got the right ability slotted. Um, anyway, then just jump your way back across here. There's only two data towers in total. Um, there we are. And make your way out. Now for the time challenge, uh, although I didn't have pistols slotted, I did have some luck with uh, the nanoblade. Although the problem with nanoblade ammo is you can't craft it, so you've got to keep buying ammo packs to do it. But you can see there one hit, and then I missed with the second one because I'm a moron, but that probably would have been good time. Um, and using the nanoblade, I've got it down to, I think you'll see 10 point something seconds is my best one. Uh, there was 13.3, but yeah, I haven't got close to uh, 8 yet. Uh, but like I said, with that and the prime on the previous uh, map set, I'll come back to those. From here on out, I'll probably do them one or two at a time, um, just because they start to get a bit trickier and getting them all together, you'll be waiting a long time. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, on the left, the previous map on the right, uh, Network what, 1B, I think. Uh, anyway, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Bye!